Good morning, everyone. It's December 31st, 2023. Made it, made it, made it for another year. Can't believe it. Um, first off, I just want to say thank you to everyone, and I mean everyone, that's tuning in, subscribing. It means a whole, it means a lot, you know. That I mean, I think I'm up to like 5,000 views, and there's like 60 odd subscribers. Uh, and how many hours have been watched already? It's, it's, it's unbelievable. And it's only in the space of like two and a half weeks, which is, you know, I'm totally blown away. I was on YouTube before. Um, some of you guys and girls out there uh, might know me from YouTube of old, shall we say. And I started up again this year because I'd had a few health problems. Uh, and, and basically, I wanted to share my passions again. I ended up in hospital for a couple of days. Um, I hadn't been well for a long, long while. You know, being in the 50s, we kind of get a little bit bit blasé when it comes to the old uh, health, shall we say. I've uh, been feeling tired and under the weather. Uh, and then I had like a fever for like three days, pain in my left side, uh, and wound up in hospital. Um, and yeah, basically found out that I'd, I've got um, ulcerative colitis of the, co of the colon, uh, and I had diverticulitis on my left side, which was the thing that caused me to go to the hospital. Um, so yeah, to change my diet up, stop drinking, clean living and all that sort of thing. Um, and yeah, it's, 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 it's been a life changing, shall we say. Dropped a load of weight, um, even more weight than what I, I did before. Uh, and, and this is the scenario where I'm at now. This is where I'm at. Got to make videos going forward so that I, I will leave something behind, you know, if anything was to happen to me, there's something left behind. It's that, it's that mortal part of our brain that kicks into gear when something happens, you know. And I love films and I love music and, and I just want to share my passions with you guys. So anyway, that's not why you're here. I've got a massive vinegar syndrome update. Um, so yeah, I've got Blu-rays, DVDs, which are down there. That's why I'm pointing down there because they're down there. <laughs> But I bought a load of merch as well, bought a load of t-shirts. I do love the, you know, film t-shirts. And like I said, lost a load of weight. So I thought, why not get a load of cheap t-shirts? I'm always in black t-shirts anyway. So yeah, I'm going to start off. Got this nice, the, the silver woman logo. It's got vinegar syndrome on the back. I'm just going to do these quickly. Um, if anyone really knows me, they know that I'm a massive metal and punk fan so they've got like uh, a red version of this they've got two of these and it's got like vincin on the back um done like a black flag logo but with celluloid strips i do like that got a silver one as well so got a silver version you know um I haven't got any sort of film related t-shirts so why not i do love vinegar syndrome i think they're one of the best companies out there uh, these are like an old film reels, reel to reel type thing like that. I'm not going to show you the next one because it's it's an, an, another red black flag t-shirt, you know. Um, and then you've got the big film reel, gold one, which is really cool. Really like that. Um, and last but not least, I've got a gold variant on the woman, the woman logo. So that's that gold woman with the gold leg. So yeah, all, all the large size, you know. Um, so yes, we're gonna to go to the table so that you can get a close up of um, the movies. Blu-rays, DVDs, have I got any DVDs there? No, I think they're all Blu-rays, they're all Blu-rays. So yes, thank you once again for tuning in, subscribing. Hope you have a great new year, whatever you get up to. Don't drink too much, you know, drinking's not good for you. It leads to nowhere, let me tell you. I can tell you, being in my 50s, I can tell you that it just, yeah, it's nice at the time, but it actually just fucking does you in, to be honest. But I just wish you all the best for the new year. Have a great one. Good health to all of you. Keep tuning in, subscribing. Really appreciate it. And yeah, I'll see you all next year. I know it's a hokey thing to say, but I'll see you all next year. Let's get to looking at the Blu-rays. Take care. Yes, so in my kitchen, this is my kitchen. If, you, if you're wondering what this surface is, it's my kitchen. So I thought it's, it's just a good way to, to do the top down. Anyway, 
First up, I've got a trashy one from the 80s. It's absolutely terrible, this film. Blood Delirium, John Philip Law. It's kind of like an Italian version of uh, Colour Me, Color Me Blood Red, which is like a uh, Herschel Gordon Lewis film. Uh, dubbing is fantastic on it. I don't know, it's just a little bit out there, you know. Um, made in 1988. The extras are really cool on it. The film, like I said, bad dubbing. If you like your trashy movies, then this is one for you. It's not going to be for everyone because it's, it's it comes at the time when Italian cinema was kind of dying off. Uh, and, and, and yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is one of those products. If, if you like stuff like Bad Inclination and all of those late 80s Italian movies, then, then you're, I suppose you're going to get something out of this. Um, not for everyone. One of my favourites... Um, from from the late 80s, early 90s, I think it was. Um, Wilson Yip's Bio Zombie. Used to have the old DVD of this, and uh, they put out a really nice edition. Looks really cool. Watched it the other night. Love it. I, I'd, I always like the opening credits on this one. And, you know, Wilson Yip, he went on to direct like stuff like IP Man. He's done some great films in the past, but yeah, this is a great edition. Nice slip case, I must admit, I love it. Good, it's it's more of a comedy uh, than you, you than a than a straightforward zombie romp. But it's it's category two B, so it's not going to go too much over the top. Um, but yeah, like I said, he went on Wilson, your director, he went on to do some great films. Um, he, even under some uh, under another name, he done like uh, like Sharpo Lang, uh, Kill Zone stuff like that. But yeah, re, you know, it's it's just great fun. Next up, nice one to have on Blu-ray, The Black Room. Weird sort of uh, vampire sort of flick. Um, takes its cue from a, from, from a, a few other movies. Um, I'm looking at uh, the Australian film Thirst for its kind of inspiration. Maybe the guy had seen it, uh, the director had seen it. Uh, and, and took his inspiration from there where they're doing the blood transfusions and stuff. But yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a strange old little film. Got some sleazy moments in it. Linear Quigley's in it, um, just ever so briefly. One of her, I think this was like a 10th or 12th movie, it's, but it's an early role. She's quite young in it. And uh, pre, just before uh, she done Return of Living Dead. But yeah, it's, it's a good little film if you've never seen it. And a uh, nice one to have to the collection. Absolute favourite of mine. I've watched this a couple of times because I've got the old Mondo Macabro DVD. So I'd watched the DVD and then um, this turned up. So I just had to watch this again. So yeah, it's a good one. Don't open till Christmas. Had a couple of directors. Bit of a mishmash. You either love it or you hate it. And that's one of the most notorious scenes in the film, shall we say. Um, I enjoy it. Not for everyone. Five Women for the Killer. This is a cracking little thriller. Um, I had to, I had to censor this for the for the internet the other day, taking bits off. Uh, but yes, it's nice to have this on Blu-ray. Um, it's, it's really cool to be honest. Italian uh, with subtitles, and yeah, it's got the gore inserts as an extra. So if you've ever seen the old tape that was going about many years ago, the gore inserts are actually on there as as extra. They weren't actually filmed for the movie. So yeah, five women for the killer. Here's a good one, East End Hustle. This is a nice 4K release. Looks absolutely amazing, I must admit. Um, this was released in the UK on um, VHS on the old, um, oh, the label that put out Cannibal Ferox. What was it called? Replay, is it Replay? That was it. Under the title, East Side Hustle. Because over here in England, we've got a place called the East End, which isn't far from where I live. Uh, and I suppose they didn't want to confuse this title east end hustle with the east end of london because i suppose people in the east end of london the old cockneys will be thinking hang on a minute um i'll put the cover up there in the corner somewhere where, where, where wherever i do it you know when i come to edit this together but yeah it was released over here as um east side hustle sleazy little movie um prostitutes decide to uh leave their the this nasty pimp guy all the characters are, are, are bloody horrible in this, but the Blu-ray makes, you know, the 70s look really scuzzy and dark. You know, it's dimly lit. I enjoyed it. 
it's not going to be for everyone because there's some quite nasty moments in there. It's got this booklet and stuff. It's your typical Canadian exploitationer or would they call it canoe exploitation? Um, I think that's a genre that, that, that people are talking about. Canadian exploitation. But yeah, it's a cracking little movie. I highly recommend it. Um, again, it's not going to be for everyone. You have to have that taste for exploitation. Um, there's some like nasty rapes in there. There's a, uh, you, know, you know, it's just sleazy. Everyone's a scumbag. And, and I'm glad that, uh, you know, a few people get their comeuppance in it. And talking about <laughs> films that nobody likes, Blood Sucking Freaks. Personally, I love it. It's a great film. It really is. Comes with this nice hard box. It's a stunning print. It's under Sardu and the, the, the Virgins or whatever it's called, but it is absolutely great. The, it's, the, it's the best you're going to see it. I'm just going to tell you now. Um, the old 88 films Blu-ray was widescreen. This is full screen. So if you're looking for the widescreen print, you're better off going with the 88 films. But this, trust me, this is the best version. It's 4K and it's got uh, Blu-ray. Extras on the Blu-ray, they're really good. Obviously, it ports over the uh, Eli Roth um commentaries there's there's new bits and pieces on there there's joe m reed um interviews and stuff um at the driving talking about when they showed it at the driving again but it's fantastic if you if you like your nudity you like your nastiness you like your sleaze you like the exploitation from 42nd street then look no further it's, it's called blood sucking freaks for christ's sakes and it comes with this really nice like i said slip cover but it's got a hidden thing this slip cover this is a magnetic clasp on the side and you open it up and you've got this lovely insert i suppose you can turn it around and do it that way you know so but it it just doesn't stick properly you know it does and it doesn't you know i suppose you can have it like that as, as the box set um but i much prefer that way uh, and you don't want to really keep doing that bending it just in case but yes one of my releases of the year for certain it's a it's a it's a great set uh it's just nice it's a it's a sleaze classic for all you dirty people out there next up is another upgrade um i've got a two disc set of this from troma um this is the blu-ray of redneck zombies watch this last night for a shot on video release it's on their new um what's it called digausa digausa video um yeah it's it's cracking I, I i've always liked this film i think it's a cracking little zombie f flick you know if you like your shot on video stuff then you might get a kick out of this um like i said there's not a lot you can do when something's shot on video but i'm glad people like vinegar syndrome you know they 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 take their care and they put great releases the extras on this are brilliant there's i think one of the documentaries is like hour and a half long if you've got the old Troma DVD, it's well worth your upgrade. Um, like I said, don't go expecting like amazing things with a print, but it's the best it's it, it's the best it's gonna look and with the best extras. So yeah. Redneck Zombies. Oh I haven't watched this one yet. Curse of the Screaming Dead, so I'm not gonna say too much about it. Um I've read some good stuff on this. Sounded like it's right up my alley. I know it's low budget and it's shot um low budget as well two disc uh, two disc blu-ray and um yeah i think it's called like Cur i think the title was there isn't it curse of the cannibal confederates that sounds like right up my street you know so uh, i'll be watching that tonight uh before i play the xbox because i'm staying in new year's i uh, you know i've got got films to watch Here's one that um, I, I'm, I'm glad that it's out. It's a, it's a Vinegar Syndrome, one of the archive ones, I guess. It's limited edition there. I've got the number. Uh, Deborah, Deborah Twist um, told me about this a while back. She didn't tell me who was releasing it. Um, and yeah, I'm just glad. It's, it's just had a fantastic release, you know? And uh, yeah, it's, it's fully loaded. As you expect, got your poster and stuff there. Um, my mate Robin gave me a DVD of this. It was really hard to find this film at one stage. Um, been unreleased for a long while. I know this, they, they go in about it on the extras on here. But yeah, really nice to have gun for Jennifer. Proper dirt. 
proper release as well. It's just right. And I'll be honest with you, I'm not a fan of these, um, you know, these when they slide down like that, you know, and haven't got the because it catches on the plastic. It's just a bit of a pain in the ass. Pain in the ass there. That, that's a, that, that ass there right there. Fatal Games. This is one I haven't seen from the days of VHS. It was re released over here on, an, on another title. I put the cover up in the corner. Um, I always knew it as something else. It was called something like uh, Fatal Olympics or something like that. I, ca I can't remember off the top of my head, but I'll put the cover up there so you can see. Yeah, this is an odd one because it's the, the killer is a guy with a fucking javelin. With a javelin. Uh, it's nice to have on Blu-ray because I don't own it. Um, I haven't seen this in years. Uh, I'm really looking forward to tucking into this tonight. And uh, yeah, it looked really good. I stuck it on just to see what the print's like. Typical vinegar syndrome quality. Uh, and yeah, it's just looking forward to watching this. Nice to have one of those slashers that's out. It will stick in your mind. You, you'll see why when you watch it, because he's, he's a killer with a javelin. I mean, you couldn't make that up. But yeah, I'll stick the cover up in the corner there so I can see what the other release was like. Next up was one that I caught on um, Amazon. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, found out there was a 4K of it. So I I, I really enjoyed this. I don't know. I, I, you know, I've got a thing about uh, killer animals, uh, you know, like grizzly, alligator, piranha, stuff like that. And I had to add this to the collection. Um, like I said, I watched it on uh, Amazon. Uh, it was on there. I haven't got Amazon anymore, but it was, yeah, I watched it on there. And, and I'm sure the print is going to be outstanding on this. And I uh, look forward to watching it. I've only just watched it recently, so I, I, I don't want to jump on this like straight away. But yeah, I had to add it to the collection because just because. And now I've got a couple of box sets. I've got the volume two of the homegrown horrors. I do love these boxes. You know, they come in the individual slip cases in there. So you've got Hanging Heart, Moonstalker, and Dead Girls. I haven't watched these yet. Really looking forward to it because the first one was cracking. The first the first box set was really good. Uh, and I, I just love these box sets. They do take care in, in doing all these. Um, so, yeah, just, just looking forward to watching something new. That's what I'm saying to people. We, we don't need cinema because there's so many undiscovered gems like this that, you know, you just discover them. It's, it's, it's just amazing. You know, you, we don't need, the, the you know, Captain America or all that nonsense that's out there. This is where it's at, the trash and all that. And last but not least... This is probably my favourite set of the year. I mean, my mate has, has been telling me, he's been tuning in and, and watching some of these. And he goes, I'm absolutely going to love this. So I'm really, I'm just, I'm going to put uh, a couple of time, a couple of days away to watch this. Um, but it just looks absolutely stunning. Done like 42nd Street. Um, yeah, we're talking about the Lost Picture Show. And it opens up. Look at it, it's just it's just absolute quality. You know, they really put time and care into this. It's so long it won't even fit on the camera. I have to actually pan it over. So yeah, you've got the book and the DVDs in there, the Blu-rays in there, sorry. Same goes for this side. Uh, I'll take this one out. Hopefully there's nothing too naughty on here. And uh, yeah, look at the set, it's just, just amazing you know so i'm really looking forward to going through this and uh yeah let's hope they do some more of this sort of thing you know finding lost movies because this is this is where it's at you know you've got beware black widow deep inside rare blue apes red midnight and violated i mean just artwork the presentation it's just it's just everything about this release is 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 amazing and uh you, you, you're not going to lose out on this, you know? I mean, who else is picking up releases like this and um, issuing, them, issuing them in the quality like this? Stunning, absolutely stunning. I think this is limited to 10,000 units. This deserves to sell out because it's absolutely, I mean, the quality is amazing. So, yeah, and on this one, you've got 
Barbara Las Vegas, Las, Las, Vegas? Las Vegas Strangler, Last American Hobos, Voodoo Heartbeat, What's Love? And again, just, just great artwork. So yeah, really looking forward to tucking into that one. It's a good one. Anyway, that's it, my friends. That is it. Thank you very much. I'm closing up the year with this one. Vinegar Syndrome, knock it out of the park again. Really love it. More of this. This is what we need. This is the stuff. I, I should really get the print. I, I love this artwork. I, you know, that's why I'm called 42nd Street, because I love exploitation cinema of that era. The, the you know that scuzzy era of this you know 60s 70s 50s whenever all, all that all that trash that's undiscovered that's just sitting out there and, th and this box proves it anyway all the best thank you for tuning in everyone like i said i can't thank you enough for watching have a great one all the best for the new year good health take care and i'll see you all soon take care